you have a most important responsibility to recognize that your education is just beginning to play the role that the country hopes and needs and expects from you but the life of service is a constant test of your will to place the needs of your country above all else When you watch your contemporaries indulging the urge for material gain, comfort, and personal advancement, your choice will seem hard. Never forget, however, that the battle for freedom takes many forms. Those who, through vigilance and firmness and devotion, are the great servants of this country. But you must be more than the servants of national policy. You must understand not only this country but other countries. You must be a scientist and an engineer and a physicist. You must know something about strategy and tactics and logistics, but also economics and politics and diplomacy and history. Your posture and your performance will provide many people the only evidence they will ever see as to whether America is truly dedicated to the cause of justice and freedom. You know, a lot of people say that I sacrificed a lot to come to West Point and that I didn't get to live out the normal college experience. There's a lot of sacrifices you make. Get up there. To be here, it requires great discipline. You know, we have to put our priorities in order. It's going to be a lot of late nights and a lot of studying, a lot of summer breaks that you're going to miss. Uh, mentally, physically, morally, my everyday life as a civilian, uh, it changed. You know, we're going to be defending the Constitution and our democracy and our way of life, and we're going to be doing it together with the guys across from us on the field. The Navy game is unique just because of what each of these schools represent and what we came here to do. It's bigger than just college football. You know, to go out there and, and go against guys that have signed up to do the exact same thing that you've done. <sighs> I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about playing. The first thing you learn when you show up is to beat these guys. That's what you sign up to do. Sign up to beat Army. Everything we do is beat Navy. It's written on every brick, every stone. Off the field, they're our brothers, but on the field, we want to compete. We're all going to be on the same team one day, which makes this rivalry different than most. In the years to come, some of you will go to the far reaches of space, and some will go to the bottom of the ocean. What you have chosen to do for your country, by devoting your life to the service of our country, is the greatest contribution that you could make. Yeah, I don't think I've had any regrets. I have no regrets at all. I have no regrets in the choices I've made. No, not one. In serving the American people, you represent the American people and the best of the ideals of this free society. This nation salutes you, and I thank you. And with that, we welcome you to college football on CBS. Today, Army, Navy, America's game presented by USAA. From Annapolis, ranked number 23 in the country, nine and two the midshipmen of Navy. And with a three-game winning streak in this rivalry from West Point, the Black Knights of Army. Good afternoon and welcome, special guests, dignitaries, General Michael Roach, this is Hilbert Byers. Captains, would you please introduce yourselves. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're gathered here for the coin toss. It is obviously with great pride and great honor to welcome our Commander-in-Chief, our President of the United States, President Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Mr. President, thank you for all that you do and all the good you do for our country. We thank you for joining us today to make this a special moment. This is a commemorative coin that we'll be using. The 120 logo will be the heads. The other side will be the tails. Army, since you are the visitor, it is your toss to call heads or tails. Heads is the call by Army. Again, Mr. President, thank you for joining us. You do us the honor.
It is a tails. Ladies won the toss, elected to defer that option to the second half. They have scored on their opening drive three years in a row to take the lead. Remember, Navy had that 14-game streak, then Army ended it. They've got a three-game streak of their own, and that's why it's so important to the Navy midshipmen to go out with a win because they don't want to be a class that never had the opportunity to beat Army. 70,000 on hand. Bijan Nichols getting it teed up. Brandon Walters and Artis Hobbs are back deep for Army. Kicking into the wind. The wind is right to left on your screen. And it's really picked up in about yes. the last hour. So they're going to hold it. Narua Ovano will hold for Nichols to keep the ball on the tee. It all started in 1890 between these two military academies. And for the 120th time, here we go. High short kick. Running up on it at the 17 is Walters. But he only got to about the 19 before he got level. And Walter Little lit him up. Kind of showing blitz, though, back out of it. And it's the fullback, and he's not going to get there. Carruthers hammered by Eric Smith. Holy mackerel, there's some hitting going on. I, I'm, I'm not hyping this at all. There is beauty in watching these defensive players play like this. You know, I mean, two just hungry defensive teams that find the ball carrier on these types of offenses. They're familiar with each other. They face it every day in practice and spring practice. They almost know what's coming. That's our referee cam. You hey, saw that last cool. replay. Anderson on a counter, trying to keep it, trying to get to the edge, and he is in! Touchdown, Army! I'll tell you that time, Alex Herndon, number 60, and Noah Utley. Tackle and guard, get the key blocks. Watch them pull around. And then it's the counter and the great patience by the quarterback to set up the block. And the block by Herndon is a deep leader. The best you can do. Second down and five. And it's Perry behind Carruthers. First down, side set. Out. Inside the 40, he might take it. Malcolm Perry, maybe touchdown. That time they didn't close the escape hatch. 55 yards. Cole Christensen had a shot, but this guy's too quick. Coach Kenny says, no, oh, reach out. The best runner Navy's ever had. He went right through Elijah Riley, number 23. He had a shot, made them both miss. Here's a pass up coming. Perry, all day to throw. I forget about it. It's not a pass. It's a run, and he's still running. And Malcolm Perry with a blocker out in front, down the sideline, finally bumped out of bounds. But he's got another big gainer. First and goal. This is Malcolm Perry now an end around to Chance Warren. He'll throw it. And Carruthers got it. Touchdown. We've been waiting for a pass for about an hour. We didn't know it was going to be Chance Warren. There's Warren. Here's the TD receiver right there. Pitch it out. Sneak the fullback out. Army sees it a little late, and it's a perfect throw just over the outstretched arm of Lowry. To try to add to the Navy lead as you look from the other line of scrimmage. And now behind the Navy kicker, and it's blocked. Army comes up with a big special teams play. It's Elijah Riley, the defensive captain. Nothing in this quarter. And Navy only five yards away from another touchdown. Carruthers straight up the gut. Six more right there for the midshipman. And this was just straight on blocking. 
no traps, no pulls, just man on man. Fire out, hand the ball to the fullback. Watch, everybody just go straight out. Just get the guy in front of you. Good block that time from the right side. Honaker, number 71, does a great job cutting off his man and allowing Carruthers to get into the end zone. In the get six chain right here. And they get it. Guess who? And it's Jackson Pittman. <laughs> Guess who? Give him the chain himself. I said give him the chain. You know, a lot of teams <laughs> have go. the glitzy bling bling. I like this. They just go find a chain you can pull a ship with. Let's At the 15. Now compare a little hesitation, then up to the edge, around the corner, into the end zone, touchdown, Malcolm Perry, 15 yards. And that puts him over 300.